show you. And today we're reading chapter 5 of Nancy Drew and the Clue Crew number 2, Scream for Ice Cream. Ice Cream Meltdown! By Caroline King, illustrated by Mackie Pamatoon. Chapter 5 is called Sticks and Cups. Let's start reading. Kevin would need chocolate to make Kendra's ice cream flavor, but said, I told you he was a suspect. Nancy shook her head. Kevin was always trying to get his hands on sweets, she said. Tweet! The shrill little sound of the whistle made the girls jump. And Nancy turned around. Daisy and the Jim and Barry fan club were standing at the end of the aisle. Daisy was wearing a yellow Jim and Barry gorilla vanilla t-shirt and a silver whistle around her neck. Okay, Groot and Daisy said, we have our shopping list now. Now let's move out. The fan club nodded. Then they spread out in many different directions. Daisy is one of our suspects, Nancy whispered. Let's see what we can find out. Daisy was wiping her whistle on her t-shirt when the girls walked over. Hey, Daisy, Nancy said. Did you come up with a flavor for the contest? You bet, Nancy, Daisy said, and it's a sure winner. What is it? Beth asked. As if I'm going to tell you, Daisy said. Only club members can know the top secret recipe. Daisy swung her whistle as she walked away. Only members can know the top secret recipe, George mimicked. Give me a break. Let's follow the members around, Nancy said in a low voice, and see what they're buying. They were about to walk when, girls, Mrs. Fang called. We have to go now. Nancy grabbed a carton of blueberries on their way to the checkout counter. They couldn't follow Daisy, Daisy or the club, but they had a great clue. The fan club had a recipe, and it was top secret, just like Kendra was. Kendra's was. Now, if we can just find out what it is, Nancy said. Is your arm getting tired, George? Nancy asked. George rolled the coffee can back and forth over the fan doorstep. Nah, I'm on a roll, roll George joked. The girls were in the fans' front yard making their second batch of ice cream. They didn't want to be near Chip when their ice cream was finished. Can I taste it now, Bess? Ashley waved a, sp a plastic spoon in the air. Don't start that again, Bess, George groaned. Hey, Clue Crew, a Bess called. A voice called. The girls turned around. Their friend, Marcy Rubin, was passing by the yard with her five-year-old sister, Cassidy. Hi, Cassie called. Want to see my brand new sneakers? They're not new, Cassidy. They used to belong to me. Cassidy stared down at her red and white sneakers. No wonder they smell, she said. <laughs> Nancy, Bess, and George walked over to Marcy. We were just making ice cream for the contest, Nancy said. How do you have time, Marcy asked. Aren't you guys solving the case of Kendra's missing ice cream recipe? Nancy, Bess, and George shared surprised looks. Who told you that, Nancy asked. I read it on Deidre's website, Marcy said. She read that the clue crew solved the case for sure. There's even a neat picture of you guys all giving thumbs up. Did she give away Kendra's recipe, Nancy asked. Nope, Marcy said. Nancy sighed with relief. At least she didn't do that, Nancy, she said. Hey, Marcy said, looking over to her side. Where's Cassidy? The girls spun around. Cassidy was sitting on the doorstep eating blueberry ice cream from the coffee can. Yummy for the tummy, Cassidy shouted. Drop that spoon now, you little pest, Marcy shouted as she raced over to Cassidy. Our second batch of ice cream, George groaned. Maybe we aren't meant to enter this contest. This side. Nancy smiled as she watched Marcy wrestling the spoon out of her little sister's hand. Oh, yes, we are, Nancy said. Cassie likes it, so maybe Jim and Barry will too. I think Daisy did it, Dad. Nancy said that night. She was standing right behind Kendra, <laughs> and she said their new recipe was top secret and a winner. Mr. Drew looked up from the newspaper he was reading. Try not to jump to conclusions, Nancy, he said. Nancy wrinkled her nose and said, Jump where? It, it means don't enter case before you check out everything, Mr. Drew said with a smile. Things are always what they seem to be, you know. Okay, Daddy, Nancy said. But it sure seems like Daisy took Kendra's recipe. It was still light outside, so Nancy had permission to play in the yard. With Chip at her heels, she, she skipped to the front door. Come on, Chip, Nancy said. Let's see if you can catch a frisbee. 
Nancy swung the front door open. As she stepped outside, she felt something crunch under her foot. She looked down and gasped. Gasped. A message had been left on her doorstep. On her doorstep. It read, Give up. Nancy looks closer. The message was written with wooden popsicle sticks. Hey guys, that's it. Chapter 6 is called Club Club. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell. Keep reading, keep dreaming. See you guys next video. Bye!